hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel from this video we are going to start a new playlist based on contributing to open source projects especially laravel projects so here i am on a laravel project that uh, we are going to choose for contributing to this is a simple e-commerce website and we will see how we can uh, contribute to this uh, project currently you can see um, it haven't provided the uh, like valid readme file as well but uh, we are going to do that um, and we will see how it works so uh, why should we um, contribute to open source uh, projects first of all the skill development you can see i asked chat gpt why should i contribute to open source uh, projects uh, you can see um, we, we will learn new skills like maybe it's using different technologies that we haven't used uh, till this point so uh, that's point number one and then for polio enhancement so whatever you um, whatever comment you do on uh, github or any or GitLab, uh, it's uh, stored on your profile so if i go to my profile i can uh, see my following uh, my uh, open, my public repositories and here i can see my contributions so uh, whatever contribution you make has stored on your uh, github profile and it's enhance enhances your um, github profile and portfolio um, and also you can put that on your for, uh, portfolio website or whatever you have so that like you have contributed to these projects and you know what technologies were used and stuff like that and then the networking so uh, when contributing to open source this do not have any um, uh, contributor right uh, if we look at uh, the chatify package uh, from uh, this uh, uh, person Munafo, um, you can see uh, he has not his network got uh, extended and you can see he got two k stores on this and a lot of contributions and they have a um, um, discord server specifically for this as well so um, now he has a name on the community like he is no, well known for chatify package and con has contribution to uh, laravel community and um, when it comes to contributing definitely it's the contribution to the community like building a nice uh, chatify package and that automatically like um, brings everything that is required for, for a basic chatting application into your laravel application and then uh, learning from real world projects so um, when or read, or reading someone else code you will definitely gonna learn new things right so um, that is another uh, things to consider when contributing to um, new uh, open source projects so the point number six uh, is uh, expo exposure to different technologies um, as i mentioned earlier there might be technologies or languages or packages whatever used that i haven't seen before so um, that's another point that uh, we will explore and learn about them and problem solving skills, uh, skills. Yeah, it definitely oh, The more you write the more code you write the more you're gonna become like more problem solver So that is another form uh, another is a uh, recognition and visibility. Yeah The more contribution you make the more recognizable you become on the community just like the Monaflo uh, Monafo uh, this person uh, is really known for the uh, Chatify package uh, and open source uh, philosophy uh, definitely there are well known and very good uh, open source projects that, um, like the people trust on open source project because they know what's you know what's inside and um, that's how open source projects work uh, personal satisfaction um, it's like you have this uh, chatify package and there are something that you don't like and you want to improve it you are able for then you can improve it so what we are going to do is we are going to contribute to this, to this uh, simple e-commerce website this guy has created uh, it has seven comments while well, if you look at this one this is uh, like a lot uh, a, big, a big package uh, chatify well-known package and it solves a real world problem there might be a lot of e-commerce website but um, this guy had he is my friend Hilal Ahmad has created this so we are going to contribute to this and um, let's see how it goes let's uh, um, fork this so I'm gonna click on fork and uh, this is the step number one in order to contribute to an open source project uh, uh, so we will fork this project to our own repository like it will create a copy of that in our uh, repository or in our um, github profile uh, and I'm gonna change the name to e-commerce e-commerce website or let's call it uh, laravel e-commerce website and uh, we can uh, choose a branch here and uh, um, i can write descriptions but uh, let's just fork it and it's going to create a copy of that project into my project so now you can see this is forked from that 
so now uh, it's loading the repositories uh, into mine and now we can clone this and work with this as it's our own copy of that actual um, profile of this project so now uh, in the next video we are going to pull this off and uh, off, make it off and running on our local machine and then uh, we will see how we can contribute to the to this uh, project so thank you for watching and see you in the next video